The Hall of Fame is filled with trailblazers. These are folks who refuse to settle for the status quo. Trailblazers come from sports, they come from medicine, they come from law, they come from life. It might be your boss who started your company. It might be your great, great grandparents who came to America. Today I want to talk about a trailblazer, an out of the box thinker by the name of Johannes Gutenberg. He was a printer, he was a scholar, he was an inventor, and he was an out of the box thinker. He was able to invent and launch the multimedia mass production revolution we know today. If you've ever read a book, you can thank Gutenberg. What was amazing is he had to invent multiple independent systems simultaneously. That was a bit of a mystery. We know in 1439, he is the first European to ever produce and utilize movable type. But we don't know exactly what his press looked like, but it probably looks something like this. We have sketches from 30 or 40 years later from those who duplicated his idea. But what was amazing when we reverse engineer what we see coming off his press is he was able to, in one movement, compress down and put two pages at once, the left and right hand side. The later presses required two different movements in order to get the same amount of work. Now what launched this incredible revolution was not only his ability to print his publications, but he found a way to mass produce his movable type, use oil-based paint, and take what was essentially an agricultural tool, an olive press or a, a wine press, and use it for mass production. Now this made production of books suddenly economically viable. Authors, publicists could suddenly get literacy high and education went skyrocketing throughout the Western world because people could now afford to produce a mass quantity of books. Here's what's amazing about Gutenberg. What he brought to bear in his publication. If he had just produced black and white drawings at a few dozen pages, it would have been impressive. But he wanted his crowning achievement to be over 2,000 pages. Not only that, perfectly alignment, left and right side columns. Now to do that, he had to actually create type that had different widths of different letters so that every single line could be perfectly aligned on the left and right hand side. And as a crowning achievement was known as the Gutenberg Bible or the 42 line Bible. And it wasn't just in black and white. He added color and artistry. So here's the question. How and why did a man use so much passion, so much intellect, so much energy to produce not just any publication for the modern world, but the Bible, a book that many people think is irrelevant or at least hard to understand.